The Iranian Air Force is considering the use of the Yasin jet trainer in the light attack role. In an interview with Iranian State TV over the weekend, Amir Karim Bani Tarafi, the chairman of the Iran Aviation Industry Organization, said the Air Force is examining the prospect of using Yasin for close air support missions, cause. He said, at present, the plane only has a training function, but it can be in the future completed and equipped with bombs and missiles and be used as a cause plane. He added that the Air Force is assessing its requirements, suggesting that the Air Force would typically require between three and four squadrons with 16 jets each, or a total of 48 to 64 aircraft. A number of countries, particularly in the Middle East and Africa, have begun putting light aircraft into use for strike missions. While the aircraft would be vulnerable to enemy air defenses or air-to-air -air missiles, they can be useful in carrying out counterinsurgency operations in environments where enemy militants are lacking suitable anti-aircraft capabilities. It is not immediately clear when Yasin will be ready to enter service or how long it might take to equip and test the aircraft with armaments. Iran has not publicly disclosed the size of an initial order for the aircraft. Bani Tarafi noted that the Iranian defense industry faced some challenges in producing the jet engine for the Yasin. But he claims that the problem has been resolved and that the engine is now in mass production. Yasin was shown off in a ceremony at Shahid Noj Air Base earlier this month, where it made its first test flight. Yasin appears to be the new designation for the Kosar 88, a trainer aircraft that was shown off in 2017 and was supposed to make its first test flight last year, but never did. The IAIO chairman's comments shed some light on a possible reason for the delay in testing. Iran unleashed the first domestically manufactured Yasin fighter jet on Thursday, which the country's defense minister introduced as proof of the ineffectiveness of the US sanctions on Iran. This sophisticated and advanced fighter jet was manufactured by domestic experts and conveys a clear message to the global arrogance that sanctions have had no effect on Iran, Minister of Defense Brigadier General Amir Hatami said in an unveiling ceremony of first Iranian-made fighter jet Yasin at the Noj Air Base in the western province of Hamadan. He added that equipping the country's aviation fleet with an advanced, homegrown training fighter jet, dubbed Yasin accelerates the production cycle of aviation power in industrial aspect, Tasnam News Agency reported. The development of Yasin fighter jet has provided proper conditions for the materialization of objectives of resistance economy with a focus on boosting domestic production as emphasized by the leader of the Islamic Revolution, he added. The fighter jet Yasin was designed and built by Air Force specialists of the Armed Forces and the Air Force of Iran and is slated for use as a training aircraft for educating fighter pilots. The training aircraft has made its first official flight over the Noj base on Thursday morning after undergoing final tests, Iranian Students News Agency reported. The fighter jet measures 12 meters in length, 4 meters in height, and weighs 5.5 tons of cargo weight under operational takeoff conditions, and can ultimately fly up to 12 kilometers, kilometers. It is equipped with a 7,000-pound turbojet-powered jet engine, which is the world's leading in its class. The length and width of Yasin's wing are designed to be over 10 meters and 24 meters respectively, which allows the jet to land at least 200 kilometers per hour of speed as the world's best training jet of its kind and to take off at sea level. The presence of a fully rotating tail fin ensures the pilot full, unlimited maneuvers opportunities, including especially spin-off or rotational crash. The cockpit is designed in tandem and non-level layout to provide a comfortable and wide field of view for the student in the front cabin, and in particular the pilot in the rear cabin. The launcher is capable of zero scratching on the runway, activated in any circumstance and launching passengers in a fraction of a second to 100 meters outside the aircraft. The runway required for landing is only 700 meters, and the Yasin aircraft can even land on short bands. Iran is one of the few countries in the world that, while under sanctions, has managed to design and manufacture advanced training aircraft by relying on its most experienced and talented youth in cooperation with knowledge-based firms and private sector companies, the defense minister said during the ceremony.